Hey guys, Enders here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going over a small quality of life update after season four dropped. It's called update 4.0.1 and it is coming out next week. This might be a small update, but some of the changes in here have really big gameplay implications and I think people might be glancing over them. So let's just jump right into all of this stuff. Of course, if you enjoy the videos, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I post regularly and I stream every single day at twitch.tv slash enders. Drop my channel a follow. I might be playing in a tournament right now. First link in the description. First changes up are in the audio section and a lot of them have to do with the X6 infiltration device, which is the gadget of Blasco, the new specialist. They have fixed multiple things about it. They fixed something to do with voice lines within the vicinity of it. They fixed the weird static audio bug that would happen even if there wasn't an X6 infiltration device near you. I have had this bug many, many times, and it is one of the most annoying bugs in the entire game right now, so I'm very glad to see that fixed. They also reduced the rate at which this gadget uh, registers audio pings upon entering and exiting an area. Not exactly sure what that means, but hopefully that means it makes less sound sound less often, and they've actually completely changed the way it sounds, and they added more nuance to it to make it uh, more identifiable. Moving on to the gadget section, they have made it so the M18 Claymores can no longer detonate through walls. Good, I'm really glad I didn't die to that, because if I did, oh boy, I, I'm not sure if this video would be being make, made right now. Uh, they've also reduced the repair tool repair rate by 15%, which is a gigantic nerf. This is definitely going to be noticeable when you're fighting any sort of tanks, uh, any sort of ground vehicles. That 15% reduction in repair rate will definitely make it so that tanks that would have survived before this nerf will now probably die. A couple changes to the Tracer Dart. Some people think the Tracer Dart was over nerfed in uh, the previous patch that nerfed it. So DICE went ahead and is slightly rebuffing it. The Tracer Dart will now last 16 seconds. They also fixed multiple issues of the Tracer Dart just not working at all. And lastly, in the gadget section, you can now correctly place insertion beacons in smoke grenades. In the specialist section, they start this section off with fixes to Blasco. Apparently, there's a bug with Blasco right now that causes her to be off the minimap when firing an unsuppressed weapon. They have fixed this bug in this patch, but you know what's funny? They've actually exposed the fact that this bug exists in the first place, and you can abuse this for a few days before the patch actually goes live next week. In a huge change to Crawford that also coincides with a repair tool nerf, they have reduced Crawford's critical repair trait from a 100% bonus repair to a 40% bonus repair. And that is on top of the fact that they reduced the repair tool repair rate by 15%. So repairing in Battlefield 2042 has just seen pretty much a flat nerf across the board. In a huge change to Irish, Irish's APS will no longer shoot down C5. This is controversial. I had some people tell me that it should shoot down C5 when I was going over this on stream today. And I argued that no, this is actually a great change because it's almost impossible to push some of these close quarter areas sometimes because of just the sheer amount of Irish APS. I think if you get close enough to that wall and throw C5 over, the APS should not destroy it and you should have a window to just, you know, sort of blow that area up and actually get things moving. I am a big fan of this change. I didn't think uh, Irish APS should destroy C5 in the first place. And this gives people an opportunity to break an area open in a stalemate. And let's not forget, Irish APS is probably one of the most overpowered things in the game right now. It destroys everything. It probably destroys ICBMs for all we know. Moving on to the soldiers section, some massive changes here to health regeneration, which saw a nerf in season four. Admittedly, I don't know why they nerfed health regeneration in season four, but it seems that they're kind of uh, making it less harsh in this patch here. They've lowered the soldier health regen delay from seven and a half seconds to six and a half seconds. They've increased the soldier health regeneration from five HP a second to seven and a half HP a second, and they increased the health regen rate post getting revived from five HP a second to seven and a half HP a second to match the base uh, regen value. 
in a general change to all weapons, if you remember a few patches ago, they made this really weird change where the weapon designer said, hey, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to ruin extended mags and, AD, uh, and uh, drum magazines, and we're going to make it so the ADS time is like 15 seconds when you use them. Well, they finally fully removed that ADS penalty from all magazines in this patch. It is back to where it was and where it should have stayed. Now for some specific weapon changes to the AC-9 SMG, the new SMG in Season 4. They have increased the amount of bullets required to kill with quote-unquote medium ammo between a distance of 50 meters to 75 meters from 6 to 7. I don't actually know what they mean by medium ammo, considering medium ammo literally does not exist in Battlefield 2042. So I'm going to assume that they mean standard issue ammo here. And lastly, to the AC-9, they increased the amount of bullets required to kill with subsonic ammo for distances beyond 40 meters by one. Not sure why they wrote two of those changes in two different ways, but hey, I'm not dice, right? <laughs> uh, to the RPT-31 light machine gun, some people think this is the most overpowered light machine gun in the entire game right now. But guess what, guys? They're buffing it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They reduced the amount of bullets to kill for heavy ammo under 30 meters from... Five bullets to kill to four bullets to kill. So if you thought the RPT-31 was a laser beam that insta-killed you before, just wait until this patch goes live and you die in one less bullet. And last but certainly not least, some changes to the M39 EMR and the SVD. Both of these weapons have received the exact same change. And a confusing one at that, and I'll explain why after I read it. The change is, reduce the headshot multiplier for these specific weapons, from 2x headshot multiplier to a 1.6x headshot multiplier. And this is a confusing change to me because these are DMRs, right? You'd assume that they hit you a little harder in the head. But now these weapons have a substantially lower headshot multiplier than the ARs do. The ARs have a 2.15 headshot multiplier. Which is, I mean, just make that make sense. I don't know. And just before we get into the last change, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I post videos regularly to the channel, and of course, I stream every single day. And the last change of this patch, guys, uh, I, this is a big one. Hold your breath. I mean, hold on to something. They made sure the Cav Brawler's Tier 1 skin doesn't crash your game and is actually equipable. Thank God. I mean, oh my God, I don't know what I would have done without this patch note. That is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. This patch is not out yet. Just a bit of a clarification. It is coming out next week. Assume Monday or Tuesday. And if you're not in the Discord, I don't know what you're doing. Scroll down, click the link, get in the Discord. We're going nuts in there. And of course, follow me on Twitter for, uh, you know, random arguments and uh, flaming random people on Twitter. That's always fun. I'll see you guys there.